At the dawn of the 21st century, the landscape of armored warfare was shifting once again, with the Cold War long over and asymmetrical conflicts dominating the strategic playbook. The U.S. Army faced a unique challenge, it needed a new generation of armored vehicles that could adapt to both traditional tank-on-tank -tank engagements and unconventional threats. It was in this climate that the XM-1202 mounted combat system was born a sleek, next-generation platform that was envisioned to lead the way into a modern battlefield dominated by speed, precision, and digital warfare. Though it never reached full-scale production, the XM-1202 represented one of the boldest American attempts to reimagine the main battle tank from the ground up. The XM-1202 was part of the larger Future Combat Systems Program, or FCS, launched in the early 2000s by the United States Department of Defense. This massive modernization initiative aimed to transform the U.S. Army into a highly mobile, digitally integrated force capable of dominating any combat scenario. At the center of the FCS vision were a family of networks vehicles designed to be lighter, faster, and more intelligent than their Cold War predecessors. Among them, the XM-1202 mounted combat system was tasked with the critical role of direct fire support and tank-on-tank -tank combat essentially. It was the FCS equivalent of a main battle tank, albeit one unlike anything seen before. The design philosophy of the XM-1202 reflected the core tenets of the FCS doctrine. Unlike traditional main battle tanks that emphasized armor and raw firepower, the XM-1202 was meant to prioritize speed, information dominance, and survivability through active protection rather than passive armor. It was developed by General Dynamics Land Systems, the same company behind the M1 Abrams, and drew heavily on modernized design cues and advanced materials to create a vehicle that was both lethal and agile. With a planned combat weight of around 45 tons, it was significantly lighter than the Abrams, yet promised comparable lethality thanks to its high-tech systems and modular design. At the heart of the XM-1202's combat capability was its advanced 120mm XM-360 smoothbore cannon, a revolutionary design that combined lightweight construction with high-pressure firing performance, developed to match or exceed the lethality of the M256 gun used on the Abrams. The XM360 featured a longer barrel, a composite recoil system, and compatibility with a wide range of next-gen munitions. This included airburst rounds, programmable heat, and kinetic energy penetrators capable of defeating modern armor. Despite its lighter weight, the gun's performance was on par with traditional tank cannons, making the XM1202 a deadly opponent even in peer-to-peer -peer armored warfare. But what truly set the XM-1202 apart was not just its schoonup, it was the digital ecosystem that supported it. The tank was designed from the ground up to be part of a fully networked battlefield. Onboard sensors, integrated battlefield management systems, and real-time data links allowed the XM-1202 to receive and transmit targeting data across the FCS network. This meant that the vehicle could identify threats, share information and even fire on targets designated by drones, infantry, or other vehicles. Situational awareness was no longer dependent solely on the crew's eyes or optics it became a product of a shared digital battlefield where every unit was a sensor and every threat was tracked collaboratively. This focus on information superiority was further reflected in the tank's crew configuration and internal layout. Unlike the M1 Abrams, which required a crew of four, the XM-1202 was designed for a crew of two or three, depending on configuration. A fully automated ammunition handling system and autoloader eliminated the need for a human loader, while advanced driver assist systems made the vehicle easier to maneuver. The crew sat in an armored capsule, separated from the ammunition and powertrain by internal bulkheads, improving survivability in the event of penetration. Touch screen interfaces, digital displays, and augmented vision systems gave the crew access to a flood of real-time information, making them not just tank operators but networked warfighters. For protection, the XM-1202 employed a combination of lightweight composite armor, reactive armor modules, and most significantly an integrated active protection system. This system, akin to Israel's trophy or Russia's Afghanid, 
used radar and optical sensors to detect incoming projectiles and automatically launched countermeasures to intercept them. While the tank's passive armor was less massive than the Abrams, the philosophy was that it didn't need to be invulnerable if it could avoid being hit in the first place. With the lower profile, reduced radar signature, and built-in thermal camouflage options, the XM-1202 was meant to be a ghost on the battlefield a hard to find, harder to hit, and harder still to kill. Mobility was another key feature of the XM-1202's concept. Using a hybrid electric drive and the modular suspension system, the tank was projected to achieve top speeds exceeding 70 km per hour on road, with high acceleration and smooth cross-country performance. The hybrid propulsion system also allowed for silent movement in low-power mode, reducing noise signature during reconnaissance or ambush missions. This approach aligned with the FCS vision of stealth and agility, enabling armored units to reposition rapidly, exploit breakthroughs, and respond to threats with unprecedented flexibility.